Today I'm going to be sharing with you my very first POV using the brand new Sony A7 IV and for my first POV using it I thought I'd take it out in some low light conditions and do some night photography with it taking a variety of different lenses with me to play around with different focal lengths and things like that to really see what this thing is capable of. If you are new to the channel, then definitely consider subscribing and turning on the bell icon so you're notified for whenever I release a new video. I've also opened a new Instagram account over on Instagram. Um, where <laughs> that was stupid. Where we're nearly at 1,000 followers. So if you want to go and follow me, see the work I do over there, get updates for videos and things in the works and everything, it's all done over on Instagram. Also, speaking of Instagram, I use the hashtag CP Photos over there, and at the end of every video, I take a look through it and see what you guys are creating and sharing it right here. So if you want your work to be featured, then use the hashtag CP Photos. With all that said and done, let's just jump straight into today's POV and start creating with the Sony a7 IV. Woo! Right, so this is where we're gonna to start today's POV. You're just gonna get a quick shot of this building right here. Got a bit of reflection going on the ground, but uh, not much. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Could have done with a bit of a wide lens, but we're just getting warmed up. Uh, let me jump focus mode to a spot mode. I've got this couple right here, which can look pretty cool. Just jumping right here. That looks pretty cool. And then we've got another couple right here. Grab a photo of them. That face focus right there is working really well. And then I'm gonna see if we can get a single shot of this woman right here because of all the neon lights in the background that was great and look at the eye focus is working so well there f1.4 that looks great all right actually a few good shots lapped off right there i'm gonna think get a photo here look at that that's ace couldn't ask much more than that all right i was shooting for it with a spot mode there I'm gonna go back into a zone. There you go. That's a real uh, moody shot right there. I feel a real nice edit on that. I look really cool with the two people walking in the frame as well. Let's see if we can grab a shot of this down here. That looks amazing. All right, we have just wrapped off a really cool frame right there. 85 mil. I thought it would be a bit too tight for something like this, but that is perfect. It will, what would be really cool if we had someone walking center towards us oh, we've got a couple here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hang out at the sidelines for a minute and then at the last moment jump in to where i can get them in the frame so if i jump in now like that there we go i got the shot i think i got the shot oh i did not completely center but they're close enough so very quickly i've just slapped on the 14 at 224 shooting at 14 look at this frame hot oh, damn i'm gonna go a bit further down now about there actually that looks good very good all right look at this frame here we've got some amazing architecture right here I'm gonna shoot it again at 14. right we've got no one in the frame clear frame and then We've got someone walking through there. Okay, I've uh, decided already I need to make a dedicated video in Leeds or wherever, everywhere really, with this 14 to 24 because that is sick. Damn, look at that. I'm gonna get a photo of this guy here. That was really cool. <laughs> like the little uh, pocket, little frame he got right there. He's got some serious look on him. Damn, he stared right into the camera. That looked straight into my soul. Right, I'm wondering with this uh, red of the taxi logo. Look at that. Look at the Boeck on the background there. That is such a good shot. I'm going to bring down the uh, ISO. Bring down the shutter speed. 150 of a second. ISO 320 F14. That is a super clean shot. Check that out. This might be a cool shot here, just off the bus stop. So I reckon I'm gonna have to go into a um, landscape mode for that. What do you think about edit? All right, so I'm in a Trinity shopping center. God, this place comes to life at night. Slapped on the uh, 14 to 24 again. 
I reckon here we'll get a real nice um, wide shot. Oh yes we will, look at that. So I'm going to need to bump up the ISO. I'll slap it at 3200 by purpose, just so we can see how the ISO performance is. I will try and get it to a higher number tonight, so we can have a look, because I'm super interested to see how this handles things. I mean, that image right there. Woo! That, that looks stunning. So I can just see in this frame, that guy all by himself. So I've gone into the crop mode, just to uh, give my little, myself a little bit more of a push in because I can't switch lenses right now. But I like that, that he is like all the way in the bottom of the frame right there, just by himself. I might be able to Photoshop the other people out. I'm gonna grab a photo of that guy over there, just sitting in the corner. Bring down the f-stop to f1.4. Look at the lighting and that, that's pretty dramatic. I'm gonna jump into the crop mode, take a few more photos. Look at the depth of field in this lens, man. That was really good with the light. Right, so for the last few shots, I've been shooting at ISO 8000 by purpose, uh, just to see how it looks. And you know what? I'm pretty impressed by that. Some good performance there. Now let's knock that back down. Alright, so we've got the train station over there, which I'm going to get a few photos of in a few moments. We've got the Majestic over there, aka um, Channel 4's headquarters. And then we've got the Queen Hotel here, which looks amazing at night. And look at the floor. There's a bit of like, a not a reflection, but nice uh, glare from the building onto the pavement. I've stuck on the 24 to 30. I'm going to go down low and see what we can get. There is a lot of traffic in the way, but, which is a shame. But if we get it right, this will look great. My patience has been rewarded. Hot oh, damn, that looks amazing. From here, we get a really cool perspective of Leeds. Look at that right there. I don't know how well it's coming across on the GoPro. So what I'm gonna do is grab a 14 to 24. 14 to 24 let's go 14 to 24 because we're not going to need anything over 20. all right so this is the composition we've got i'm leaning it against this i've uh, got to be careful it's like metal wire mesh uh but we're at 1 25th of a second iso 1600 f 2.8 that's looking good right there how's that look that was at 14 mil that is looking pretty good right there get further this we go right here see if we can get a photo here very quickly of this bush driver through the window mirror I think I got some it there I mean that depth of field looked very good well right, I'm just gonna uh, I really want to just uh, play around with that depth of field right here because of all the traffic in the background look at that that is that is good. Speaking about depth of field, I wonder if we can uh, do this. Just focus right there. Oh, look at that. That is clean. I'm going to bring down the ISO quite a bit for that. Drop the shutter speed. Oh, wow. Look at that depth of field. I'm going to do it again here with this traffic light. Wait, uh. I'm going to change the focusing mode to M, push it to the left of frame. Sorry. No, it's all right, mate, don't worry. Thank you very much. That's cool. I want to get a photo of this really cool dude here. See if we can focus on him. I'm going to have to go into manual focus for this shot. There. and get another shot from this angle. I'm gonna go to a higher angle, like that. So yeah, I was shooting manual mode for those photographs to get the focus where I wanted, and I think they came out really well. I just loved all the reflections on the glass, and you could just tell there's a subject there. But I think that looks pretty, uh, pretty interesting as a frame. 
All right, so I'd like to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on the Sony A7 IV? My quick fire ones are, autofocus is great. Somehow they've been able to improve it even further from past iterations and past cameras. Uh, the ISO performance is great and I'd like to push that further and harder. We were shooting at ISO 8000, but I wanna go beyond that and see how high we can actually push it before we start losing too much image quality. The raw files are great, the uh, colors are fantastic. Um, but I say that about a lot of, if not all, Sony cameras over the last few years. Sony doesn't miss a beat when it comes to their photography, and this one definitely doesn't miss it either. And also, there's the video side of things as well. But I am going to be doing a full review video about this camera for photography and video, um, so I'll be going into a lot more depth about that when I get around to actually making that but I actually want to shoot with it for a couple of months first to really then get my thoughts across more efficiently but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and of course if you have any questions about the camera as well let me know right there and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible so the last thing we need to do today is have a look through the hashtag CP photos and see what you guys have been creating so let's jump into recent and um, we'll start with this one right here, this one by uh, Luca. Real nice reflection shot right here. I love that, that's lovely. I love the colors and everything on that shot, it's really nice. Uh, this black and white one right here by uh, Pum's Perspective, that's really nice. I love that black and white shot, the architecture looks so cool. Uh, we've got this one right here by ljc.jpg. Real nice black and white shot right here, this guy just uh, Feeding the pigeons, I really do like that. Nice uh, street photography right there. We've got a bit of a panning shot here by Chris G Media. Again, I love the colors on that. That looks so nice. I do need to get myself over to Germany because it looks awesome. I love the selection of photographs you've got right there. This is really cool as well by Harlock Snaps. That is a really cool perspective right there. Two people sitting back to back on a bus. I love it, the steamy windows and everything. That is awesome street portraiture work right there. We're going to scroll down a little bit. Our next shot is this one right here. I like this one. Just the collection of wet bicycles and nice depth of field. Always a great combination right there. Uh, cool reflection shot here by Pezzo Photography. Um, this is a nice black and white one by Brewer T, T Photography. A uh, nice product shot here of this uh, GoPro in the dirt. I like that. I like the vibe and aesthetic of that. Look at a couple more photographs today. We've got this one right here by Ling. That shot of that empty road is so cool. The colors on it are great as well. You've, uh, you've absolutely smashed that. All right, so that is where I'm going to be leaving today's POV video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. It'd be deeply appreciated. But until next time, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Yeah.